Hey guys, it's Kat with the final update on what happened to Reba. So this is three days post-surgery, and if you hear squeaking, it's because Reba is playing with her squeaky toy. So here's Reba right here. Reba and her squeaky toy. I'm supposed to be keeping her quiet for 10 to 14 days, and um, but she was getting to the point where she was being really annoying about the squeaky toy, so I thought if I play with her and, and keep her somewhat quiet as she plays with it, I'm gonna allow it. But yes, this is three days post-surgery. Um, you probably also saw that I have the lovely little Elizabethan collar. A lot of people call these the cone of shame. I don't. I like his Elizabethan collar as a, as a uh, term. But anyway, I wanted to tell you what happened with Reba. So, Saturday night, I took her into the second surgery place because they had a surgeon who was available right then, and they took out her gallbladder. We knew that was going to happen. They also removed urinary bladder stones, which we didn't even know about. They repaired an inguinal hernia, which I did know about, but it was one of those things that didn't have to happen immediately. And this was like, just open up a dog and there's just so many surprises inside. They spayed her. That was a surprise because I was pretty sure she was spayed before I adopted her four and a half years ago and she's never gone into heat. And they told me that it's possible to have a silent heat uh, with no obvious signs like the spotting is what most people see uh, or people call it the bleeding, but it's the spotting. And uh, yeah, so she had major, major, major major surgery. Right, hon? Where are you? Yeah, just look in there. She had major surgery, and this is her three days later really wanting to play with her squeaky toy. How you doing? You want to show off your scar? Or what's going to be your scar? Let's see if I can... Okay, now you're looking at my feet. Isn't that awesome? Come here. Sorry, I'm on my camera phone. There's her scar. Look at her scar. You're so cute. Um, she's doing amazing for having just had major surgery three days ago. And I'm going to have to take that squeaky thing away from her. <laughs> but anyway, she's doing really well. The prognosis is really, really good. Um, yes, it was a lot of money to save my chihuahua, but she is doing so well. I probably have a good 10 more years with her right now. It's basically that they opened her up, cleaned out all the parts, polished her up a bit and put her back together. And she's looking fantastic. And she has dropped her little squeaky in my lap here. So um, I'm going to go try and keep her relatively calm for the next two weeks. Wish me luck. And I will talk to you later. Ooh.